be just like factory, just the NHL version of it. I'll see if I can draw this in a way that it makes sense. So we've got our hockey pucks. Our hockey pucks are just shy of one inch thick. So let's say we have our bottom hockey puck just like that, and then we drill a hole through it for our bolt. We'll determine this in a minute. Um, now we've got that plate that comes through here. Right, so that plate has a hole in it that's 1.5 inches, right? So, 1.5 inches. We know this plate is on the thick edge is uh, three eighths of an inch. And right here, it's like a quarter of an inch. So we're gonna split the difference and probably go five sixteenths. We're gonna take five sixteenths out. And then that will leave this part here, which will be we have to put a washer and a nut, right? So that is the correct way to make a hockey puck body mount. Watch when I jack it up. Maybe you see it better when I let it down. <laughs> so we're gonna machine one hockey puck with a step um, our hole, basically 1.5 inches, just a hair under 1.5 inches. Yeah, it's, it's 3 eighths of an inch right here, but it's only about a quarter right here. I'll probably split the difference. I got this piece of uh, polished and ground, so we're gonna make our bushing out of this. And then we'll hold the drill in the jaws. And we're drilling. One inch. So there, we got our hole drilled in, the same on each side. So now I'm gonna change positions. I'm gonna pull that out of the turret, put it in the jaws, and I'm gonna turn the outside diameter down on my bushing up two inches or so. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna transfer it over to the little engine lathe and then we'll part it off to length. Downside of that is uh, you get the long stringy chips. You can see there now what we're, we're getting close to having our bushing. There, we got two one inch diameter, two inches long, five eighths four bushings for our hockey puck mounts. And we've got two more mounts. Okay, so uh, now we need washers. We need a washer for the top and a washer for the bottom. So those are two and a half inch diameter. And we know it's a five eighths hole, so we'll go just a few thou over five eighths when we plasma cut it. And it's pretty simple to do everything right on the machine here. So draw a circle, 2.5 inches. We'll drag that right to our zero, zero on the center. Draw another circle. We're gonna go 25 thousandths over, so 0.650, and we'll drop that right there. Then we just gotta highlight it and move it to where we want. So turn the machine on. So, just to demonstrate how this goes together before we put it in the truck. That bushing slides through. 
then that'll go through from the top. Put the other hockey puck on below, right? That's our gap for the bracket that holds the transmission. You can see that our bushings are flush. That's what stops it from over compressing. And we have a washer on the top and a washer on the bottom and an eye lock nut. And there we have a one hockey puck rubber isolator. Let's go put them in the truck. So we'll take our puck with the turn down on it, put that in the top. Then we'll take our full puck, put that in the bottom. Drive our bushing down through both. There she goes. And that's it. Canadian Tire Hockey Puck Transmission Mounts.